All right, guys, let's check out this new Borealis release. This is the Sintra, and it has very cool liar lugs. I'm a huge fan of that. Obviously, there's another big brand that does that as well, so there's going to be some styling cues from that, but uh, it's definitely got some twist to it for sure, besides the lugs. So let's get right into this guy here real quick with measurements. The case is technically 41 and a half if you measure from here to here, but as you can see, it kind of has like integrated crown guards into it. So I just kind of like freehanded a, a measurement, and I feel like the watch is closer to like 40 and a half to 40 ish. Like if you were to give it a true measurement minus the quote crown guards, but the reality is it is a 41 and a half, and it's just too hard to separate that measurement with these uh, integrated crown guards. I like this design though. So lug to lug 47. This is a prototype. Both these are prototypes. So this bracelet is changed. I talked to Carlos. Let me tell you something real quick. Now let's finish up the move or the measurements first. So the bracelet will change on the production model. This will be a, a female articulating link here. So you won't have any extended length on the lug to lug. So it's going to be a 41 and a half by 47. But like I said, it, it it's more like a 40, 40 and a half. It's only 12 and a half millimeter thick. Might be a little bit thicker than that in the full production one, but not much. It's going to be under 13. 20 millimeter lug width bracelet tapers down to 18. And then you have a pretty standard affair clasp here, simple fold over. And then you friction fit on that guy, milled out in the center for micro adjust. And you do have screw pins for the links, a uh, little bit smaller um, links. Actually, the links are short, so getting a size a good size on this is going to be easy and then you're going to want probably a 1.2 for the screwdriver to size that just a heads up on that okay uh six and a half millimeter screw down crown 200 meter water resist all that good stuff now let me tell you real quick uh because i mentioned carlos carlos is the owner of borealis him and his wife and family and stuff owns it and i've been working with carlos for well years now and we talk often we talk about other things other than watches, like a lot of the people that I've made contact through this hobby, uh, it's not just watch talk all the time. Sometimes we talk about, not sometimes, the majority of the time we talk about other things, just regular life things, right? And Carlos is in Portugal, so, you know, we talk about, you know, things in his world versus things in my world in the United States and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, great guy, great family, great brand, uh, builds awesome watches and just overall, like, Although we haven't met, I just consider him like a, a friend. I know it's like an online relationship, but I consider him a friend. So um, before I cover more of these, I have to segue real quick into that because I have been uh, in a relationship essentially with Carlos for a long time. I want to show you something because I hadn't really made this public knowledge. And maybe by the time you watch this, so I just went to BorealisWatch.com. You go to their online shop and it has all the watches here. There's a bunch of different colors for the Sintra. There's a silvery white. There's this sunray blue. There's this like kind of ice blue looking one is really cool. There's obviously the red. They have some black ones. Um, and they have some that even kind of look like, you know, uh, almost not a denim dial, but um, you guys know, right? So the orange second hand. But this is what I want to show you. I am super excited about this. This is a project that I've worked with Carlos on for a while, and I felt very, very comfortable launching my first collaborative, collaborative Random Rob special or limited edition. Actually, there's only 50 of them. And the time I'm recording this, there's only like 10 left. So you might miss out on it. They're a little bit more money than the other ones, but Working with Carlos was awesome, and getting it spec'd out to what I wanted is awesome. The case back has, like, my logo on it, and they will be numbered. So if that's something you're interested in, hurry up, because they're probably already gone. And that's it. There's only 50 of them, guys. I'll put a link in the description to the Borealis website. Okay, now that I'm off promoting that, I don't really feel like I'm promoting it. I, I guess I'm just excited that... My first collaboration is with my buddy Carlos with Borealis. I, I just, I, I wouldn't have pictured it any other way. So again, these are prototypes. The movements in these are not the Miyota movements. It's a different movement, but um, we ended up going with the Miyota, or Carlos ended up going with the Miyota because availability and price conscience and all that stuff. So uh, you, some models you'll be able to get a date or no date, 
And if it is a date, it's going to be the 9015. If it's a no date, it will be the 90S5. So you won't have a ghost date position, meaning when you unscrew the crown, you get a solid pop on this thing. The first position, one notch, will set the date. If you have a no date, there's only one position out and it just hacks the movement and you set the time. So it hacks the movement, you set the time, push it back in, screw it down. Good to go. And it is an automatic movement and you can uh, wind it as well. So nice knurling on the crown, plenty of traction on it. No problems there. So now that I've shown, let me show you the red one up close real quick just so you guys can get a visual on that. It's like a blood red. It is just a deep red. You can see the texturing on the dial. You have that really cool like arrow minute hand and second hand and then almost kind of like dolphin style hour hand. Shark teeth, indices, really well done. Signed crown. Some models will have BGW9 loom. I think both these have BGW9. The Random Rob Edition one will have the BGW9. And then some have like old radium loom. So just click on the description and look at them. I warmed up to this one actually way more than I thought I would. I, I put the, um, an aftermarket leather strap on there. The leather strap is not included. But I really think it shows off the liar lugs. And it just worked really good on wrist for this one. I, this color is, it's just such a good color for this watch, I think, for some reason. Again, here's a look at the case back. Screw down case back. And that is not the movement that is in there. But I just figured I'd show you. And look how thin it is, guys. It has that, like, bubbled up and then double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating in there. Okay. Let's pop these on wrist and then we can do the loom shot. Price points on these, in case you didn't see it on the website, you're looking at it's a 50% down and then 50% when, when the watches are ready to ship, which should be the end of summer, like August, September-ish. Here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. Ah, this is such a good model, guys. I'm a sucker for liar lugs. And it's so thin. No modern uh, big name brand is going to be that thin, guys. So if if the right size and the thinness of a watch matters to you, this could be the one for you. I can pop this red one on wrist real quick too. So uh, two, basically 250. It's like 249.50 down now. So you can spread it out. You do the 249.50 now, and then sometime in August he'll hit you up for the other half, and then it ships. And then for the random rob edition, it's 275 down, and then 275 later. But honestly, it's you can go try, but it's probably already sold out. I'm excited about this one. And if you're familiar with Borealis, this case actually does look very familiar, almost like the Estoril, which is the dive one, but you have a fixed bezel instead of a dive bezel. I think the case is maybe slightly different, but it's very, very similar, if not the same. I could be wrong, but uh, love the case. Love the Estoril. Now I love the Sintra. Uh, two great models, two home runs as well as like the Adraga and the Cascaeus and like there's a bunch of really good models from the brand Borealis. All right, let's kill the lights and check the loom on these guys. Okay, prototypes, guys, prototypes. They will be brighter on the um, production models for sure because I know Carlos, he'll, he'll spec it out that way. But these are a little dim for my liking, but like I said, prototypes. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next vid.